Corsair RM series power supplies are optimized for silent operation. Click now to learn more. So here's day two of the event where Chris is making the argument that it's not the size that counts, it's what you do with it, that which is, right. is something that small people say. As a fellow small person who doesn't happen to be very tall, I, uh, I'm with you on this. Can you hear me, Linus? Uh, oh, we're going to fist bump. Yeah, fist, fist bump. Yeah, so yeah. These computers that we have in our hand are doing everything we need them to do. We're just getting information out there, right? That's what everybody else is doing, except that our batteries are probably going to last longer. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you need more power? He I've looks, got plenty here. Oops. He looks you pretty can't burned. You charge your laptop here, can well, you? Why are you attacking me? I win. <laughs> because before the hell recording I the video, you decide to smack talk me. So now, I didn't smack talk and I asked really? if you were seriously going to work on an iPhone. You know, when I am seriously working on right. an iPhone. That's all I asked. No, no, no. That you wasn't smack. Else. No, no, no. What say? I said, are you serious? Okay, now if, if you're gonna make if you're gonna make the argument that size doesn't matter, would you actually fight him? <laughs> if you want me to, sure. <laughs> I know. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> so basically, because the uh, the stream hasn't started yet, we're all just kind of sitting around trolling, taking pictures of each other. Can can I see that picture? Uh, yeah. It's... Don't worry. I, I have a, I have an actual like zoom that doesn't suck because I don't have a DSLR. <laughs> so uh, oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I can't focus on it though because I don't have a DSLR. So we're about 50 minutes late, but uh, we're still pretty excited to see what we're going to see here. Uh, it just means that I have now had all of that water. So <laughs> it is time for a bathroom break and the uh, presentation hasn't even started yet. So. Vodka. <coughs> water. It's 9 a.m. Water. Yeah, exa it's, yeah, it's 9 in the morning. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Nothing. <laughs> You're feeling great, right? I'm, I'm flying high. <laughs> I've streamed with this many people. Don't they usually have to do like some sort of load balancing to make sure that they have the proper bandwidth? Probably. But I mean, live stream. Well, you just. Oh, hi. I was just discussing with my colleagues right here some of the intricacies of live streaming. Yeah. Oh. Something which I know uh, you, you over at Linus Tech Tips oh, might have some experience with. You mean the, uh, the difficulties of live stream are what I have the most experience with? Yeah, I mean. Saying you're gonna do a live stream and then there'd be no be, there'd be no live stream. I mean you're not familiar with that at all. Are you? I guess you kinda owed me one at this point. <laughs> sure. Alright, alright. It's like I gotta I gotta stop saying these type of things if I really wanna be in your video at all. Right? Too touche, sir, too touche. No, you're you're in the video that I upload that is sitting in my room uploading right now. So uh awesome. yeah, it's uh it's the video that I took of you while you were roofing though, not the one that you're aware of, so don't worry, you look great. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't do anything. Music's off, baby, we're starting. Run right back to my spot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Corporate Vice President, Global Communications for AMD, I'm on time. John Taylor. Exciting. I hope you guys are tuned in live because I'm not going to videotape this whole thing since there's a live stream. So, yeah. Hey, good morning. Aloha to those of you here with us. And yeah. All right. Yeah. So, if you guys have never seen me fangirl out before, then uh, it's definitely about to happen on a, on a new level here. So, behind me right there is Chris Roberts, the uh, mind behind Wing Commander, Freelancer, and the upcoming Star Citizen, which you guys have probably heard me talk about a fair bit. I pre-ordered my uh, my Constellation ship, uh, which was uh, 250 bucks, which is definitely more than I've spent on all other games combined in about the last five years. So uh, that's how stoked I am on this. So I'm just kind of waiting for an opportunity to jump in here and, and shake his hand, which is uh, which is about all I'm going for. I can see. Uh, Charlie over there is okay. going going for the business card, which I I guess I could I guess I could sort of I wonder, I wonder if that'll work. I just wanted to say hi. hi. That's about it. Here, can you get get this on video? Sure. I watch your tech tips occasionally on, no on, on YouTube. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that... Whenever I'm trying to figure out what the best cooler or something to do. 
There you go. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, we're we're definitely uh, we're definitely fangirling out as much as we as much as we ever have. I mean, what I said a minute ago that you probably didn't hear was I pledged 250 bucks to Star Citizen, yeah, which thank is you very much. more than I've spent on every other game combined. Awesome. In my entire library and probably about the last five years. Well, so. thank you because you're letting us make the game without having any publisher or VC or anyone. It's just, I mean, that's actually what I tell everyone. It's like, it's like, it's a really cool thing to develop a game and not worry about anything but making the best game, not worrying about pleasing the marketing department. And the only people you worry about is the people who are going to play the game. And yeah, so it's cool. So thank you. Very excited. Very Just checked out the hangar module, and uh, we're actually going to be publishing a video very shortly. We know it's totally irrelevant, but we're taking a bunch of graphics cards, we're throwing They're them at the hangar doing module, we're doing, a, we're doing some benchmarks, we're kind of going, okay, how hard is this going to push it? And it's pushing it pretty hard, which is oh, so no, exciting. We, uh, it's just not very optimized at the moment, we so we, we don't do any LODs. So and like, we will. It's like, I mean, I wasn't joking when I was saying <laughs> it was 18 million polys that were like on the, because we haven't got any LEDs, so like the constellations are a million and a half, the freelance is a million three, <laughs> even the small ones are 300,000, and then you got that big environment. And we found some fantastic bugs where like wide. your guy cuts in half and oh, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. like that, and it was like, it's, it's totally not there yet, but it's so exciting to be able to see it. Uh, I mean, it's, no, it's awesome. I'm actually, ready yet. I'm enjoying the process of people playing and checking out, and then you actually sort of see feedback, and it's like a great feedback loop, right? So it's like, in my old days, when I used to make games, I'd have a team, and like a lot of times I'd be like, okay, well, we're gonna do this or this, and I'd like open it up for debate, just because I'd like to have a discussion, and then it helped me make my mind up what I was gonna do. And so that's kind of what I view having 250,000 backers, you just have a much bigger debate pool. Except, um, I mean, the key difference between a backer giving you feedback and an employee giving you feedback is you pay the employees, yeah, so yeah, there's yeah, a little, yeah, no. whereas they pay <laughs> I can't, you. I can't fire you if you say it sucks. <laughs> Ex exactly, which is both, I guess, terrifying and extremely no, exciting. It's, it's fine. No, you know what? I actually, and I've said this before, like uh, when we've done, um, you know, like I'd be on the forums or whatever, is I don't mind people having negative and as long as you're constructive in, in right. doing it because it shows investment, right? So you really care, like people care. They're like, so if they don't like something, like, oh, I, you know, I want this to be fixed because they care. It's not because they're just being, you know, a troll or something. It's just because they, they saw it away and they wanted to, and sometimes they have valid points. Well, they put their money up them. front, so I mean, yeah, yeah, it's, totally. uh, it's, uh, it's, it's one of those things where no one's gonna pay money just to go troll someone. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. So, no, I, I think our community's great. So, I'm, I'm, it's, you, it's, um, it's, it's, would it's you take a photo with Chris for our fans? Uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure absolutely. Yeah, do sure. Do, do you All right. Time to keep you company, Linus. So, I, uh, no, 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 because I, I can never be embarrassed about sitting by myself at an empty table ever again because uh, I, I introduced myself to Chris Roberts, the Star Citizen guy, standing over there. I was going to say. And he knew who I was already. Oh. Which was like, he like watches my videos. Oh. I was just like, How I'm going to change my parents really quick. Okay, you like, so were you like the first person to invest in, in the Star Citizen? You want me to hold that for you, Linus? Pretty early. No, no, I got you this. Sure? I can do this. There we go. There you go. So, so basically, so basically, I had Austin holding the camera, just kind of pointing, because I was just like, oh, I need to catch the moment when I meet him. <laughs> but like, he was like, dude, the look on your face when he recognized you was like subtle, very subtle. Get out of here! <laughs> he was like, dude, the look on your face when he like knew who you were was like priceless. <laughs> like, I was blown away. Well, I saw you during most of the presentation, kind of like maybe jotting down a note or something, and then Star Citizen came up and I looked. It's like I was dropping my food and my forks and my drinks all over the place. It's like a very, a very exciting game. Did you ever play Eve? I didn't play Eve. You didn't play Eve. No, I was not in gaming at that time, and it's a little late to jump into the Eve universe, I yeah. feel like. Um, but I loved Freelancer, um, which was the last game he worked on. When I found out that that game was just like, the sequel was dead on arrival, I was, I was like devastated. So when I found out about this, I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an ETA. So I bought a Constellation, which is a $250 ship. So I, my plan is to have like a Linus Media Group crew for the ship. Because you know, like, okay. yeah, it's a four-man four ship, so... It's know. still like over a year out, right? Oh, yeah. Anyway. So I've been asked uh, very nicely by, by Chris and the... Uh, 
and the, Vanguard. you know, I don't even, I'm sorry, I don't know what your actual company is called. I just know Robert Space Industries. So Cloud, <laughs> Cloud Imperium. And Cloud, Cloud Imperium, okay. Sandy's head of, uh, of marketing. Okay, so I've been asked to finish building the PC for the head of marketing of Cloud Imperium. So, apparently. She needs some expert advice. I do, I need expert advice, and it needs to be faster than that of Chris Roberts. And that, I, I, we've already been through this. That is going to be extremely challenging because he has a great PC that he actually built himself, and you guys can check out the blog post. Uh, I uh, where was that posted? It was if you search for Chris Roberts personal rig, That's I think. Awesome. See, do you like my motherboard? Yeah, you'll find it. Ah, uh, do I like the motherboard? Okay, so you got I'm a Crosshair sure. Five Formula Z. Okay, yeah, that's about as good as it gets for an A. <laughs> I haven't seen this ID on their memory before, so I've only seen the older spreader that doesn't have the uh, the sort of textured look on the side here. Um, what else? What you got in here? So this is their 9590. So once again, that is about as high end as it gets for an AMD CPU. So that's uh, a five gigahertz eight core. What else you got in here? What What have you got, Chris? Uh, well, I've got a, yeah, a uh, yeah. I was gonna say I think that's about to get awkward because. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna overclock mine. Is that what I need to do? Uh, to get it faster. I got a 3960 or a 3960. I got my. I got a cross. Now my understanding is there was a bit of a misconfiguration there with was. the uh, machine. I ha we had a 110. What did we have yesterday? We had a 110. I think you guys had a 280 millimeter cooler or something like that. There's no mounting points in this particular case for that. And it didn't fit. Can I help you move that? Here, let me turn this off. A bit of a thing going on here where um, we can't find the motherboard screws for the system that I'm supposed to be helping build for... Uh, Cloud game. Yeah, so that's that's trick. No, no, they're definitely not under the board. Oh no, no, I would have thought of that. Them there. Okay. <laughs> I was looking for where the posts. Wow. It's like, but what we do have is the graphics card that's going to be going in this system, which is uh, about as exciting as any screw could possibly be. <laughs> There we go. So we can get actually a pretty good look at it here. So we've got what looks like a metal unisync that's probably covering uh, presumably memory and VRM and going to help dissipate a little bit of heat. You can see it actually wraps around the back here. AMD's done their usual thing where they kind of have a very small penis extension on the PCB. So the card is a little bit longer than it otherwise would be, but not to nearly the same degree as what uh, NVIDIA's done with the last couple generations of graphics cards where they've got like these weird like things that seem to be designed to make them not fit in cases. Um, really neat idea on the front of it. Uh, these actually illuminate, so I've seen a couple of them running so far, so that's, uh, that's, a, really cool, that's a really cool look for it. Um, here on the back we've got DisplayPort HDMI, and this is an interesting thing, so I don't know if this was in the embargo session or not the embargo session because they didn't talk about it at all, but you can see there's no analog pins on these DVI connectors. So these are not capable of being adapted with a DVI to VGA adapter. It actually physically won't fit and the signaling is not there. So we're ready to go here. You go, oh, apparently we found the screws, did we? Yeah. Uh, these are these are the motherboard screws. But first you need to put the uh, liquid into liquid. Three, one, two, three. That's only eight. These came with the uh, the liquid cooler. Oh. You can tell because they're color coded. Okay. Then let's uh, we'll keep searching. I mean they might they might fit. It depends if they have a coarse or a fine oh, threading they on them. Fit. I already tested one. Oh okay. Yes. Okay. Well we could we could use them and then we could figure out another way to mount the cooler, but that wouldn't help us mount the, the SSD we still won't be able to oh these could work for the SSD. Yes. Okay, what else do we have? <laughs> okay. Why don't we why don't we see how far we get here? 